For now on the program, Amnesty International is accusing the U.S. of committing war crimes through its drone program in Pakistan. A report from the Human Rights Organization lists recent incidents and says there's an almost complete absence of transparency. Now, the activists have challenged the Obama administration to prove that it has thoroughly investigated all cases of unlawful killings, though there could be an awful lot to look at. The program began in 2004 under the Bush administration. 2006, though, was the deadliest year in his presidency when almost 100 civilians were killed. But in 2008 over here, the use of drones in Pakistan escalated, reaching a peak after Barack Obama was sworn into office in 2009. That was a total of 162 people, though, many of them considered not to be militants. Now, the next 12 months of Obama's administration saw a record number of strikes, 122. And the program continues to take the lives of many innocent people. So we can see the lion's share of drone strikes was indeed carried out by the Obama administration. Around 1,000 civilians have been killed, 200 children. And the total number of deaths is more than 3,000 people. More details now from RT correspondent Lucy Kafanov. The Predator drone, remotely controlled and heavily armed. It's the weapon of choice in the CIA's undeclared war in Pakistan. That's where the U.S. is believed to have launched more than 300 strikes since 2004. The target, suspected Taliban and al-Qaeda militants. The White House says better drones than boots on the ground and justifies the covert program as both effective and legal. America does not take strikes to punish individuals. We act against terrorists who pose a continuing and imminent threat to the American people. Not so, according to Amnesty International. In a damning new report, the human rights group warns U.S. drone strikes could amount to war crimes. It documents recent killings in Pakistan's northwest tribal areas and the lack of transparency surrounding drones. This is a secret program. In fact, in our case, we've found, at least in some cases, they've clearly killed civilians. And some of these cases might be war crimes. That really concerns us. One such case is that of 68-year-old Manama Bibi, killed by a U.S. drone last October. She was picking vegetables with her grandchildren when the attacks took place, a double strike. The children miraculously survived. First it whistled, then I heard a doom. The first hit us, and the second hit my 